Hello and welcome to my let's play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm One Mad Hat and let's kick things off. Now, at the end of my FTL video, or during it, I don't remember exactly when, I said I wanted to do a bigger let's play type thing and I was going to do live commentary and that ended up not working out. I originally wanted to do the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 when it came out because that's one of my favorite games of all times and this is... Uh, it just didn't work out because I wanted to get a better capture card than what I used for my Quantum Conundrum Let's Play. That didn't work out because, as you might have seen, the quality, even at the higher settings, is really bad. So I was going to get one. I, I shouldn't... I should have just got one with the HDMI input and output anyways, but I didn't have a TV at the time that could do console HDMI output. So, you know, it's all technical stuff you don't care about. So anyways, I'm not doing that. I've decided instead to re-download Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and play that. Uh, I beat this once as an evil character a long time ago on the original Xbox when it was still relevant. And I've had problems with screen tearing on this one, and I think I found a fix. So hopefully I got a fix. And if I didn't, uh, we'll find out, and I just won't release it. So I'm going to play as a good guy, light side. Play as I, I just easier for the soldier. I'm really bad at stealth in this game. Yeah, and then I don't really custom portrait, pre-made portraits. I don't know if there are any of that look. No, I don't remember what he looked like in the old Republic. Okay, wow, I don't know why my frame rate's so low. Okay, attributes. Uh, penalty. Right, I believe this is like D and D, basically. So I'm gonna want how many points do I have? Thirty. I'm gonna put ten. I'm gonna put twelve in strength. And put ten in charisma. I don't know if I want to go with a, uh, I'm just doing this off the cuff, I don't know if I want to do a dual lightsaber build, which I usually go with, I feel like it might be better just to do one lightsaber, or I usually do the double bladed lightsaber because I think they're cool, and I'll be easier with higher dexterity. Oh, uh, will it? I f oh, man, it's been a while, you know what, just to be safe. Let's take that out, let's put that there. This 14 or 16. Let's make Constitution 14. Let's make that 12. Let's make that, that 12. And. and nope. Uh. Yeah, let's go with that. Skills. Alright. Computer use, demolition, stealth, awareness, security, persuade, repair, tweet entry. I don't know why yeah, I skipped over. Always put at least one in. Is everything everything but damage and awareness? Okay. Feats. So I got. It. All right. And then I want to focus more on melee. Yeah, I guess it is strength that determines because it's the you get a uh, penalty for your offhand. Down some more. It's like anything more than that. It's some cool. Nope. Doubles the critical strength. Um. I mean, that's still. That's useful. What does power attack do again? And then minus three to hit. Let's just say let's get some cool. Oh, the floor is cool. Minus four penalty to attack that round. I do really like flurry. Although if I'm double bladed or two weapon, kind of. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's be a classical Jedi warrior. Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above, out, above the Outer Rim world of Terrace, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. I mean, it feels redundant to read it out loud, but if it's not recording this because I don't see my fraps counter anymore, I guess it kind of makes more sense. Cutting the my mic on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, spec machine for this is so weird. I love how the big ships always can withstand a ton of punishment. Well, I mean, it makes sense because you have shields and whatnot, but I feel like it would just be like, well, I guess it's more like nets, so. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar yeah, Spire is. is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Who are you? I'm Trask Olgo, Ensign with the Republic Fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers, we're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Okay, let's go help Bastil. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Alright, so I'm just looking around. Let me make sure my... I changed it. Oh. Okay, that's useful. There we go. I changed it so I can strafe with the Q and E and then Z and X are my... I found that relevant to tell you, but all right. Get items. All right. Then is it not B? No, it's I for inventory. I guess what would be E for equip? Yeah, whatever. Clothing. Short sword. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Yes, 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 I played. All right. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. Then you just click on them. I have no idea why Fraps kills my frame rate on some games and doesn't on others, but whatever. Open. Now that the 
the door is open, you better take the lead again. Sweet. Yes, that's what I've been doing. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Empire Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Let's move out. So then, yep, journal is checked. Alright, so for those who uh, haven't realized it by now, this is, uh, or who have never played this, which I feel sad for you if you haven't, this is a pen and paper style game, video game, if that makes sense. Like, I have, uh, I don't remember what all the, uh, oh, character sheet, I guess. So, so it's like you have all the different, uh, Attributes, not yeah, attributes like strength, dexterity, and then they affect how you're gonna do combat. So combat is actually turn-based rather than uh, not. It's not all continuous and stuff. And all these numbers are gonna go into the game. So when we go into combat, it's gonna be easier. Like if this door was locked, it will check my. Uh, if this door is locked, it would check my security skill, and it would roll a number behind the scenes. I don't know if there's a way to see your number anywhere but that door is locked I don't have the codes to open it we switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door okay so essentially like what they'll do is they'll come up here and then I'll click on security and we'll roll a d20 add this guy's security number <laughs> Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. All right, so I mean, it's better to see with it. So what's going to happen is behind the scenes is I'm going to select to either just attack it, which I'm going to just do a normal attack, or not. Oh, this was your chance of hitting a target uh, are controlled by your statistic statistic. By your numbers and behind the scenes combat rolls. Combat is not affected by your aim, your character's movements, or the movements of your target. So I'm going to run up here. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. And then. I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. To use an item like a med pack, or another self-targeting item or power. You'll need to know how to use your action menu. Thank you. In the lower right of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can select items from this menu by using the mouse. Left-click the icon you want to use to activate that power or item. Clicking on the arrows above and below the icon will cycle to other powers or items in that list. The first icon of the action menu is for friendly force powers. The second is for medical items such as med packs and antidote kits. The third icon is for miscellaneous items such as stimulants and energy shields. The fourth icon is for mines and only appears if you have a mine in your inventory and have the demolition skill. Okay. So I thought there was a... Wait. Huh. Oh, yeah. Is it just five? Yeah, okay. And... Let's go. So it's going to roll to see if you hit. Basically, the behind-the-scenes number is you're going to go up to a guy, click on him, you're going to attack him. You have a bunch of st uh, modifiers and such, which is uh, for attacking as your strength. It'll roll a uh, d20. And this, this guy right here. Attack. No, not... Okay. Attack. There. If I hit, I roll a d20. And then if I hit, I'm gonna... Uh, this is gonna be a secondary roll. Okay, he died. This is gonna be a secondary roll that determines damage. And that's 
basically it. it. I always take a long time to get items. I always take a long time to explain things when it really doesn't need to take that long. See, I have a plus five to hit, so it's gonna roll a d20 and then add this plus five. And then you see how it says one to six. It's gonna roll a one through twelve in order to attack. And then if I roll, uh, if that number behind the scenes rolls a twenty, I'm gonna do two times damage. So it's gonna roll this, whatever this is, times two. So and then long sort of crypt. And then because we're going uh, one man army, I don't know why I opened that up again. And then nope, get out of the way. Open the door. So you just right clicking everything. Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. All right. All right. Yes. I know. Do I have another attack? Can I have a right hand attack? Uh, sure. Let's power attack. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gonna... Oh, and then I have my little attack here. Ooh, that's cool. All right, remain. Because you have to create your entire party, and if you're not good at it, you're not good at it. There's not a whole lot to say. Because Dungeons and Dragons is really weird. If you if you're controlling every character and you just have a bad comp, it, you're gonna go down. Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. All right. So we're gonna talk. Can I move? That's weird. All right, mains. Get items. Flurry. 
in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. <laughs> Sorry, choking in my water. <laughs> I'm the soldier with Republic. <laughs> We're the last two crew members left in the Ender Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right. <laughs> uh, so what I was explaining is I don't usually take that long to choose weapons and stuff. It's just I'm explaining Basil's it. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. 